Hello and welcome in a last part of our tutorial. We're just going to fix the doors and uh, instead of having nine, do nine doors in the middle, we're just going to have one or two. Okay, let's go. We have to. Okay, just uh, for good practice, let's make everything visible again because that's not a way to look at a group plane. And when we compile and save, we're going to have a very nice looking thumbnail now. That's pretty cool. Okay, um, let's make it a tiny bit smaller. I look really cute, small. Oh. And uh, fix the doors. We're going to have to reparent the blueprint first to a center XYZ building. That happens without a warning, everything is still working. Wow. And, uh, yep. So now we're going to have to leave the construction script the way it is, but in the draw building, we get a new thing in between the base and midsection. We're going to call a draw centered X section. And it expects um, repeat times. That bit of a surprise. I will check that one later. Let's just give it repeat times. See how that. It must have been left over from some trying out to pass it custom amount of repeat times. And uh, it expects a left, right, and a center. We don't have the left, right, and the center yet. We're going to move some of the geometry from the left and the right corner. There, but we do have the center, which is our current front. So we can pass the base front to the center and cut that connection. Move it over here. And if we compile and take a look at what it done, it drew a door in the middle with two empty holes to the left and the right. We're gonna fill those. We'll go back to the components and go to the base. Back right corner, we don't need that. Back left corner, we don't need that. Front right corner, we're going to need. Let's first um, make the scenes that we need, which are the uh, base, front, left. And then let's duplicate this one and call it front, right. And now we just, we don't need the base center, we delete it. We just need to grab the front left corner, and I don't know how much stuff, but exactly what we need. So, uh, we're lucky here. Front left. I don't just to be sure. No, we didn't grab the window. We can unhide these because we know they're all good. We can compile and take a peek. Oh, we haven't connected them yet. We can go to the drop building and connect the left and the right sometimes this happens left and connect the right over here and compile and now we should be seeing the left already here in the building and we resize it it already works 50% Give it a nice comment, call it a centered front. Center front. And uh, move these guys into the base front right. And they come, they all come from the front right corner. Oh, it's just like that. No. No. No bash. The trim. No window. And a base part. And we move them to the base front right, and we hit compile, save, close the thing, ta -da. Now we're all, uh, oh yeah, it's, it's in the height. So, as you can see, I uh, have uh, here in the center, it moves by two, when the number of repeat times is even, and when the repeat amount of repeat times is odd, it builds just one door. And that's it for now. We have done, we've built entire 
fully resizable neoclassical building. Thanks for watching.